Hey guys, it's Media Bottle, just Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and where will the best snow be over the next uh, three, four, five days initially across the Intermountain West, then the Northeast, and then in the Pacific Northwest in BC once the pattern shifts this weekend. But let me st uh, first start off at Aspen Highlands here. Uh, on my list of bullseye locations with the storm cycle in Colorado, Aspen Highlands, Aspen Snowmass, down to Crested Butte, um, down to Telluride, Purgatory, Silverton, Wolf Creek, all those locations I think are in for the biggest totals in Colorado with this. And they're already reporting 25 inches in Aspen Highlands over the last 48 hours. You've got another foot on the way. This is a little bit of a lull right now as storm number two starts to move in. Um, and let me just show you what it looks like down the road. This is Purgatory, 33 inches in the last 48 hours. Your storm skiing right now just looks outstanding. Down at Wolf Creek, 25 inches in the last 48 hours. You've got at least another foot coming there in Wolf Creek. If you could just be there and set up and ski the next couple of days. Oof, look at that. Wind and snow right now. Here's the setup over the, uh, the Pacific. Storm track looks like this, amplified way up into Alaska, reaching into the Arctic and bringing that air down across the Intermountain West. And there's your dip supporting two storms, one moving out of Colorado, another one piggybacking in on the back the backside with that next batch of snow. All of this, and there are a few different lows out here, this will become the storm cycle for the Pacific Northwest and BC, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'll show you that coming up here with the, the, the GFS, and then I'll show you my totals, but all right, so here is what um, the GFS thinks uh, about all of this. So between today and tonight, the next low hits Colorado, northern New Mexico, N northern New Mexico after a big lull on the action. Um, there it is. So there's Thursday morning, begins to wind down across New Mexico and Colorado, move out into the heartland. Now this will become an important storm for the Northeast. Watch it Thursday night into Friday becomes heavy snow for Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. This is Friday morning right here. And then it's gone by Saturday morning. It has moved out, and you'll have bluebird conditions with powder. There may be a clipper on the back side, which hits the northeast Saturday night and Sunday. Across the west, once this thing exits, it's mainly high pressure uh, for the weekend into early next week across the Intermountain West. I'm going to take you back to Saturday morning. Look at the first of two lows hitting the Pacific Northwest in B.C. with blow-off snow for Schweitzer in northern Idaho and northwest Montana all the way through Monday. There's your next storm hitting the Pacific Northwest as well. That's going to be a great pattern for that area. Let me take you through my snow totals. We'll do this in about three different phases. All of today through tomorrow, the biggest numbers are in Colorado and northern New Mexico as that storm number two rolls through that area. And then here is phase two, the 25th through the 28th. Look at where the biggest numbers are, Pacific Northwest, BC, northern Idaho, northwest Montana, and Banff as the storm track shifts into that area. And then here's phase three, early March. Storm track comes out of the Pacific Northwest and begins to shift south in favor of northern California. Idaho to Teton starts to brush the Wasatch and then southwest Montana. So things will be shifting once we get back into March. Um, let me show you a snow plume here I made for Mount Bachelor in Oregon. Notice quiet initially, and then here comes the storm track. 26, 27, 28, 3, 1, 2. There may be an initial warm problem with precip at lower elevations on the 26, 27, but then some colder air should eventually filter in. Let me take you into the northeast here. So again, remember, a lot of this snow comes on Thursday night throughout the day on Friday with 1 to 2 feet in Massachusetts and Vermont and then uh, lesser amounts in New Hampshire and Maine. And again, a lot of that comes on Friday. In fact, um, let me just show you that again here on the, um, the GFS animation. Take you back. There it is. There's your low Thursday night and throughout the day on Friday with that snow, and then it's gone by Saturday with clearing skies. So you'll, uh, you'll be skiing in storm conditions on Friday and then more sunshine on Saturday. Let me take you back to my totals again here across the West. Again, this is all of today through tomorrow. The biggest numbers across Western and Southwest Colorado. If you can ski tomorrow or Friday across Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, Telluride, Silverton, Purgatory, Wolf Creek, Taos, I think, and even Monarch, you're probably in for the best totals in those areas. And then phase two, the 25th to the 28th, it all shifts up into the Pacific Northwest. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, hit the Pacific Northwest, 
hit interior uh, northern Idaho, hit BC in Banff, and I think you'll have the best conditions there. Thanks again for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.